What is up guys? You got not the worst here bringing another black desert online video and we are looking at a Progression update kind of see where we are at uh, Moving forward and what the game plan is continuing forward from here. So to start things off we are going to Go ahead and throw in these 696 stones here Skippity skip here bada bing bada boom Level 3 on our dandy to now match our level 3 Zarka. So if we equip equip Boom, 289 AP. We did it, boys. Save that one just for you. So, uh, yeah, ended up just kind of buying off the rest of the Kaffirs that I needed for this. I was pretty close to it um, for a while anyhow, uh, but wasn't really, like, pursuing Kaffirs grind in general um, for a bit. So decided to let's just go ahead and get it done. We also have uh, Deeb's Encyclopedia should be coming out, like, uh, tomorrow most likely. Or if it's not, it will be very, very soon for NAEU. So with that coming up, too... Um, we are going to get an additional AP, I believe, from Volume 5 with that, although admittedly it's going to take um, some very annoying steps to get to that point to get the free AP, but I believe it is getting released. So that'll be another step uh, up for an additional AP there. Uh, aside from that, something else I have started to do, um, which we will mess around with on stream a bit, uh, and then also outside of it, is decided to go ahead and start spending some of the money. I was setting aside and just like saving up money that was being grinded. Um, throughout the time, it was going to like pursue replacing uh, accessories with tongue grads here, like rings and then belt eventually as well. That was kind of the plan. And then I sort of changed my mind on that and decided let's just go ahead and take advantage of tongue grad rings being like ridiculously expensive and start buying them. Um, I'm having a hard time selling my distortion earrings at decent prices. You can see this is completely abysmal. In fact, that might be a new, yeah, 188 is the lowest I've ever seen any sell for ever. Uh, so this is pretty gross. I've been selling them one at a time at higher prices. Uh, I think I did get one sold when this peak was happening. I got one in for like 225 around that time. Somebody bought out the market when they were dirt cheap. Uh, but this has been really kind of annoying. I mean, we, we all know the accessories across the board are just like really cheap right now and kind of like everyone's holding on to them to wait to them to recover. But all I can tell you guys with distortion earrings out there, what's going to work best is stop doing this. Stop dumping them when you have like four or five of them sitting list them one at a time the reason for that is when you have like obviously max price is just not going to sell when you have this many listed in the first place so don't put like if you're a bro hanging out with nine of these things don't list all nine at once because then if a couple other people list them like that's going to incentivize people that are like i want to get money for this so obviously you have these 16 here they're just, you're just going to get undercut over and over and over and then the news like whatever we'll pile them up here and then obviously like nobody's gonna list them here but like rewind that to if this was like you know two or three that were listed here at a time and then it was like two three here one two whatever it would hold the price better but whatever this is never going to happen when, when you have people that are literally like whatever I'll, I'll just go ahead and post mine 10 mil cheaper than the next one because fuck it that's you know it's just whatever welcome to na um i'm sure you markets are that way anyhow but whatever so i'm uh taking advantage of that with tongue grad rings and going to continue to pick them up each time i can get a distortion sold i will pick up two more tongue grad rings and then uh, we're going to start shooting for uh, Ted accessories for that, which I will do on stream. Outside of that, I am going to do a video I said I was going to do almost one full year ago uh, to go along with the uh, enhancing video, gear enhancement video, like how to fail stack when you're just starting to work on boss armor and stuff. I never did an accessory one, which I was going to, so I'm going to use some of those tongue grads to kind of go with it, make that video first, and then whatever I have, um, you know, aside from that, we'll do on the uh, weekend enhancing streams and uh, hopefully at least get some TED attempts in you know, each week or whatever as it goes in and out. So that's kind of the game plan there. Upgrading those each will net us one AP each. Oh, I just noticed I, I was attacking those mobs with Nuver because I'm awesome. Anyways, well, we're 277 with Kudum. Um, yeah, so uh, swapping each of these out, we've got three AP gain to get uh, tongue grads with these. Um, so that would get our awakening, uh, including Deves, that would get us to the 293 bracket which is the next bracket from there. Kafris wise, I could consider, um, you know, pushing the Zarka two more levels. It would take it, they'd have to get to level five to increase one AP, which would make it a little bit awkward. I get it up to match the Dandy um, since they come out a bit higher, but obviously that's a, a whole lot of Kafris ahead. So I'm not really wrapping my head around what the game plan with that is and really just gonna push for the Tungrad for right now. Um, other things to look out for at Succession, it should be getting released at some point someday here uh i we, they are getting released on the kr servers fairly frequently um they've got four or five of them now on kr servers so uh, i expect to start seeing them kind of soon on naeu or at least i hope so um so we're looking forward to that and we'll see how that kind of shakes things up as well uh and then people are asking me about like black star weapon too because obviously like the monster damage would be like 
better grinding wise regardless of the missing brackets that i can hit with zarka um like yeah that's a thing but it's so far like back of my mind with other upgrades like i'd obviously rather have the tungrad accessories before i consider like laterally going to a to a black star um the monster damage like is good or whatever but like i mean it's fine dude i'm pulling 3700 average trash here i think i peaked it like my highest is like 3962 that stars in like i'm good with that i don't really want to make the investment to pull like 100 trash more per hour or something you know it's not it's not that super big to me and i would still be using my zarka for pvp anyhow so yeah that's an upgrade that will happen uh, but just not something I'm like pursuing right now. I have too many other things to look at. I'd probably honestly be pursuing more Kafiris and that sort of thing. As far as uh, gear enhancement goes, um, if you've been watching the streams or catching the highlights when they, those go out, I am uh, still continuing to try and hit that pen Nuver. I forget how many attempts I'm in on, on it now, like 12 or 13 or something like that. My stack is up to like 205, I believe. Um, I can check here in a second. Uh, I think it's 205, so no luck so far. And... Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep pushing that. If it actually hits, it's kind of whatever. That's more of a, like, for fun, continuing to push for pen items um, on the stream. Oh, I missed a dude. Uh, 207 is what we're at on the pen stack. So, yeah, we, we'll keep pushing for that. If it hits, then we'll just move on to a, a piece of armor to kind of go from there. I do have Kafir's level 3 in all of my uh, armor. I don't know that I'll bother going to 4, uh, but possibly. Um, I just don't see a reason that I, like, want to push that investment because, obviously, you lose a percentage when you do... Uh, extract them after finally hitting a pen but yeah i mean we're talking like mythical pens down the road it's not like we're just going to casually start hitting pen everything so that's a thing too but anyways that's the plan uh, as far as the 20 hour grind series uh videos i'm probably going to just stick with like stars and history or whatever for the next week or two and try and just maybe get some tongue grad rings going before i jump into um, the next 20 hour grind series um i don't know which i haven't necessarily solidified which uh, zone I'm going to do like for sure yet um, but I've been thinking about some spots I have some nodes at level 10 that I've never even grinded at in like anticipation for doing the videos there and I just never did them so yeah like things like Nagas, Gahas um, I haven't done, Pilaku, Sulphur Mines I don't have 10, level 10 nodes at those last two but uh, those are heavily requested as well so all of those kind of things are on my mind it's just uh, I'm at a weird gear progression point like Obviously, it takes a lot to continue to increase your gear at this level. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of focusing on that, still being able to put together a whole bunch of money each week to do the enhancing streams on Saturdays because uh, those are a lot of fun, um, but also try and keep, you know, so the progression going. I actually haven't made an AP gain until the Kaffir thing just now in, like, uh, I think a month, almost two months, I think, was the last time I increased AP, if I remember correctly. It might have been longer. I can't actually remember. It's been, been a hot minute. Granted, it's not. I, after that, I was focusing on Kaffir and gaining some DP, uh, mostly get like 320 with Kudum up being a thing helping for a PVE stars end especially helps not getting like hit super super hard but yeah so there you go that's the update that's what we're doing I'm gonna keep my grind going keep the videos pumping out and uh, yeah I'll just keep you abreast of what the plans are as far as the PvP videos we were talking about it last stream the plan with that the uh, setup for the loser legend series has just been a little bit more um time consuming that i had planned on as far as like setting up fights getting them done and then like also the interest in them is exceptionally low like those videos perform really poorly despite the fact that i like really enjoy that type of content uh i don't think my viewer base does very much so that's something to consider with it so what i'm going to do is maybe sprinkle in some like arsha pvp when i'm like out grinding and stuff uh into some of the videos like you know towards the tail end or something like that to try and mix it up uh, before i get the next uh, pvp series video out because i don't see that happening for another week or two anyways so anyways that's it for this one uh just want to keep you guys up to date what's going on um if you guys have any recommendations for things i do have a list of like videos i want to get done guide wise because uh, i've been pretty lax on the guides lately um, but if you guys have any other recommendations or things you want me to cover or talk about uh, make sure to let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it and if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe so that you'll get a notification when all these new videos and stuff we're talking about are getting released pop right up on your youtube app uh, if you're on your phone and if you want to catch any of the live streams there is a link to the twitch page in the description down below there you can head on over there and drop a follow if you want to catch that because uh, it's usually a whole lot of fun that said that is going to be it for this video i want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time